Actually, I'll just correct you. Because in Palestine, they had been colonized by the empire of Alexander for hundreds of years. And they were speaking Greek at the time of Jesus, as well as Aramaic. Did you know that? Did you know that tombstones of Jews in Palestine are written in Greek? Did you know that? No, you didn't. Did you know that the Jews translated their Old Testament into Greek? Did you know that? No, we didn't know that. You see, you come out with this rubbish that we don't have the original Bible, but you've got zero evidence. And shall I tell you why you've got zero evidence? Shall I tell you why you have zero evidence? Because to say that I don't have the original, you have to produce the original in the first place. Because only when you produce an original can you say, I don't have the original. Can you do that? Yes, no, no, you can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Go on then. Go on. Where is it? Yeah, go, go, go. How many different versions of the Bible? If I go to this? How many different versions? Sorry, what's that going to do with my question? Listen. Yeah, no, let's do this again. No, 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 listen. Go on. Go on. Well, listen to him, because he's going to demonstrate the original Bible to us. Please tell us. Go on. The original. If you go to any mosque, yeah. Take the Quran. Yeah. Go to any, 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 any country in the world. Yeah. Take the Quran, say. Yeah, okay, so, this so, is, this is the question, the question was, the question was, where's the original Bible? Because people say Christians don't have the original Bible. All the time. Muslims lie about the Christian faith all the time. Where is the original Injil? Where is the original Torah? You can't prove that we don't have the original unless you can produce the original. If you can't produce the original, your claim is just that, a claim and nothing more. But then he said, every Quran is the same. See how the Christians laugh because we've tested this claim and we found different Qurans, wash Qurans, different to half Qurans, different to Duri Qurans, different to up to 34 different Qurans. Did you know that? He didn't know that because you're just repeating a script. Change the script. If I have a Hafs Quran, a Wash Quran, and a Duri Quran, how many Qurans do I have? We have! We have! DCC, I have! Hatun has different Qurans. Go and speak to her. 37! She has 37 different Arabic Qurans. Your claim that the Quran is the same is a lie! They are different! And these aren't my words. These are the words of Dr. Yasakadi. These are the words. These are the words of Dr. Puyin. These are the words. I'm going to give you the list. Obama, Obama said the future, the future does not belong to those who He's going to defend the whole the narrative. He's going to defend the whole the narrative. So, Modi is going to defend the many Qurans available at the moment. This is what, this is what Professor Thomas of Birmingham University said about the earliest fragment of the Quran. Listen carefully, Muslims. This is the man who is responsible for that fragment. Listen to what he says. So, the fragment supports the view that the Quran was written down at an early stage in a form, listen to the next bit, that is very close. Everybody say very close. Very close. Is very close the same as identical? No. no. 
That's what Professor Thomas says about your earliest fragment of the Quran. He goes on to say, to the Quran as we have it now, there has been a debate for a long time amongst non-Islamic academic scholars about whether the, the history of the Quran and about whether it was complete by the time of the death of Muhammad or whether it continued to be added to and slightly changed to meet the community's needs for possibly up to 100 years after his death. But the fact that these two folios are, listen to the next bit, not identical. Everybody say not identical. Not identical. Does not identical sound like identical? No! So are your Qurans the same? No! You have been lied to. That is talking about the earliest fragment of your Quran ever found, ever found. Game over. Islam is dead. Islam is dead. Islam is dead. Sorry. What? He says, he says that Christianity in the West is dead. Repeat after me if you believe as I believe. Jesus is risen. Deus Volt. Does that sound like a dead religion to you? We are here. Our resurrection stands. Your Quran has fallen. Our claims to truth have stood for thousands of years of criticism. Your Quran has fallen away. Your Quran has been disproven. So, 1400 years of history, 2000 years to pick it over, no problems of any substance. The Quran, what was it, 22 years? He met his angel in the cave because he was fed up with his missus or whatever it was. It was dictated to him, and it's a put up job, folks. Anybody can make a holy book like that. 17,000 verses, and you've only got 6,000 in your Quran. In terms of morality, Muhammad is not a holy man. And by most people's reckoning. And your own conscience proves that because you condemn desecrations of the Quran, but your Muhammad desecrated 360 pagan idols. So your conscience is telling you Muhammad is wrong. Muslims believe that Muhammad was confirmed as a prophet by a pagan woman and a Christian man. So the whole founding of Islam depends upon a pagan and a Christian who you believe are misguided. So if they were misguided, why didn't they misguide Muhammad? She says, the, lady, the sister says, she's walked away. She says, I'm making, brother, brother, she says, I'm making a whole lot of shit up. I'm using Islamic sources. I agree. I am using stuff that was made up and it is rubbish. So now let me ask you Muslims a question. Oh, I will, I will. I'll let you. The Quran, this book, calls Jesus the Messiah 11 times. But it never explains why. Not once. Why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah?